Now my name is Michael on today's video I'm going to show you guys how to set up your HiWatch Pro app, how to connect your HiWatch smartwatch to your HiWatch Pro application. So if you have an Android phone, you have to go to Apple Store and download the app. If you have Android, you have to go to Google Play Store and download the app. So let's search for it. HiWatch. Here's the application. So after downloading it, I've already got it downloaded. Tap on open to open it. Make sure that the watch is on and fully charged. And then the next thing to do on your iPhone, if you're using iPhone, is to make sure that the Bluetooth is on, turn it on, and then come here is how the main menu, the home of the application look. So the first thing to do, let me go straight to the point, come here, the right set. Let me show you where I'm talking about here, the right set. Tap on it and then click right here, the right buying device to experience more features. So when you tap on it now, they will give you they will ask you to give access uh, to the app to have access to your location click on allow and you will find the watch that you want to connect to so we are connecting to t500 plus we we'll have to tap on it and wait for it to connect completely so it's connecting so it will take some few seconds and it will connect completely so for you to connect you have to make sure that your bluetooth is on you have to make sure that your bluetooth is on so that it will connect without having any single issues so it's connecting now so you have connected so after you have connected the next thing for you to do is to go straight to the bluetooth to set this this is very important because without it it may pop up here you can see to pair the web audio it may pop up like this and you can easily be able to pair it on your android or you go straight to the settings to be able to get this done so when we tap on this pair now you can be able to pair it tap on this one pair so we have pair it but if it didn't come up like that you have to go to the settings and search for the web audio you see the web audio is activated now and search for this web audio now and you can be able to connect it so that you can be able to receive calls and uh, being able to play music on the smartwatch so after doing that now we have already said that the next thing to do is to come back to this place the right set to this place the right set so after doing that you have to make sure that watch is properly connected to being able to do that you have to click on here the right find here you can be able to click or here when you click here you can be able to find your smartwatch you can see the smartwatch vibrate now in case you misplace your smartwatch this is the best way to find it so because when anytime you tap on it your smartwatch will vibrate and it will send uh you've been able to help you to locate your smartwatch let me go straight to the point here right here the right message push here is where the main settings are so probably when you come here um you have to enable this call reminder enable sms if you want to be receiving sms on the smartwatch and then you have to enable the whatsapp um, give the WhatsApp permission to send notification to the smartwatch. So if you want to be receiving notification of WhatsApp messages and uh, other notifications, you have to tap on open and go straight to the app and give it the permission to be able to do that. So we have given it the permission to be able to um, send notifications to our, our smartwatch. So probably after doing that, we have to come back and enable the whatsapp and it will go successfully you see set successfully so you can order enable you can enable other things that you need to be receiving the notification on the smartwatch important things like uh, maybe twitter on that stuff if you like you can disable it also and next thing to set is to set um remotely control your phone camera you can be able to do it right from here but first you have to give it the permission um give the app to run uh give the permission to have access to your photos and videos so given allow uh, it's done now so now um from from here uh probably from here you can remove the device that you are connected to and from here the right order is where you can be able to set the vibration if you want to enable the vibration you can turn it on and turn it off from right here so 
if you don't want your, your, your smartwatch to be vibrating, you can easily be able to turn it off here and be able to turn it on if you want to be getting vibrations when the smartwatch is swinging or sending notifications. So from here, you can easily be able to reset the smartwatch. And here is where you can be able to set the smartwatch wallpaper. So if you want to put your picture, as as if you want to use picture as the wallpaper of the smartwatch you can easily be able to do it right here without having any single issue let me show you how to do that quickly tap on it and uh it will load up sometimes it takes a lot of time so i mean oh, i don't want this video to be too long you can click on change dial and from here you can choose picture um custom picture that you want for it to be uh, the wallpaper sometimes it takes a lot of time so I don't want to waste much time you can easily choose it and then tap up here and uh, when you click here is where it will start um, getting into the smartwatch so I don't want to do that right now so let's proceed to the next step so from here you can easily be able to from here you can be able to um set um this to activate when uh activate the smartwatch in case you wanna be get, um you want the smartwatch screen to be coming on when you when you move your hand that's the settings here so probably that's it and here is the do not disturb mode d and d mode so from here um you can set the do not disturb mode um, you can set it you can set time and uh, you can turn it off also because note that anytime you set this dnd &D mode when you turn it on you will not be receiving any notifications um to the smartwatch so from here is where you can set alarm you can choose the time hmm. set the time set saturday sunday so for blah 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 after doing that you can just click on confirm and the time will set so when the time reach the watch will start vibrating and you can easily click right here to delete it understand without uh, wasting time so this is a very quick um, tutorial on how to connect your high high white uh high wash pro smartwatch app to your high wash smartwatch so i hope this video is helpful and uh, informative and i want to show you another thing here the right uh, motion is where you can be able to um start um in case you are running you're working from here you can start counting probably but before you do this you need to go and register and you know, say login first so from here here is the setting long screen so probably from here here this section is mainly for spot and from here you can be able to um check your blood pressure let me show you how to do that quickly start measure and you start measuring your bpm yo so you send the um signal um straight to your smartwatch and your watch will start checking your bpm immediately so that's how it works so after checking it it will show you your current bpm and from your watch itself you can be able to find your phone you can be able to find your phone by tapping on the find phone i can you tap on it start it will start i see the blanket is looking for your mobile phone it will be ringing as i will be giving a map you can hear it <laughs> so that is it so probably thank you guys for watching i hope this video is informative if it's informative and helpful please like this video because that helps a lot like the video and share it to your friends thank you for watching and have a nice day